Welcome back. In today's problem, we're asked to design a inverting amplifier that has a gain of negative 20 and an input resistance of 100 kilo ohms. In this problem, we have a caveat and we can see, or if it's not obvious, basically the caveat, you know, some kind of mm, cautionary detail in a problem you're evaluating. And in this case, they gave us that our input resistance um, should be 100 kilo ohms. So our input resistance in an inverting amplifier is R1. And if you do not know that, there's a video that I'll provide in the right of the screen that gives a brief introduction to the inverting amplifier. But as always, we can put that down and say that the in is applied to R1, which then is connected to the minus of the amplifier. We get R2, which is then connect, which then connect the minus to the out. And we know that the plus is connected to ground. And as always, I think it's always better to draw it out. So let's just be a little bit more concise with our representation. So that's it. We have the minus here and we have V plus here. So we know that our input resistance in this case, for a non-inverting amplifier, it is infinity. But in this case, it's finite. And we shall find that out. So our input resistance is uh, V in divided by I in. The current across R1 is equal to V minus well, it doesn't matter how which way you say it, but it matters in a sense. So that is V in minus the voltage at V minus divided by R1. So by a virtual short, we know that we, we can assign the voltage at V plus to the voltage at V minus. In this case, if we do that, V minus goes to zero. Thus, V in cancel out. So the input resistance is equal to R1 which is a finite resistance value. We then know that the gain, and we can just go over that again, by, as we said, by virtual short, V plus can be assigned, the voltage at V plus can be assigned at the, to the voltage at V minus, or the voltage at V plus can be assigned to the V minus terminal, which is zero volts. So thus by voltage, you could say by node method or by um, superposition, you can find V out divided by V in, which is equal to negative R2 divided by R1. And that is our gain. So in this case, we have that R1 because we know R1 is our input resistance, and if we should design an inverting amplifier with an input resistance of 100 kilo ohms, that means R1 should be equal to 100 K. And by having the gain of the, the voltage gain of the amplifier, we can then find R2. We can find R2 by timesing R1 to the voltage gain, which gives a value R2 and that is equal to 2 mega ohm. And that is the end of this problem. So we have a input resistance, a input resistance of 100 kilo ohms and a gain of negative 20. And what else? That's basically it for the problem. The only thing that was kind of not really tricky, but not obvious was that R1 needed to be 100 kilo ohms. And also, 
to get the voltage gain, what I did was basically set the out to zero, take the voltage across R2 with reference to V in. So that will be by voltage division R2. That will be R2, R2 plus R1 times V in plus then by using in this case by setting V in to zero, I would take the voltage across R1, which I would add to that and say R1 divided by R1 plus R2 times V out, and then simplify the equation and then get the voltage gain for the amplifier. So that's it for this problem. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.